I lived on Venice Boulevard. I'd skate like probably six or eight hours a day. I'd be at the skate park. So I had three driveways. The first one was really steep, and I, need, I, I used to call it pipeline. And then the second one went through these apartment buildings. They had a little downhill thing through these apartments. That one was Waimea Bay, and the third one was a little slopey one, and I and I called that one Sunset. But that's where I learned to skate on on those little driveways. I used to skateboard down to the beach with my surfboard in my hand because I lived on Ocean Park. I used to skate all the way down Ocean Park and then just go down the bike path to POP Pier. POP was good because. Uh, there was sandbars there and the waves, it just had the best waves. That's why it was really important because it had good waves. The north side of POP was Santa Monica, the south side was Venice. There was actually a couple little skate spots on the pier. We'd skate around on the pier after it was closed down and stuff. I knew every every street, every curb in San, you know, around Santa Monica because I all, I lived on my skateboard. I went everywhere on my skateboard. We did downhilling, we did slalom, we did pool skating. We did, I guess, what you call street skating, but it wasn't called street skating. It was just skating to the next skate spot. We, we did stuff like we rented airplanes to Santa Monica Airport, and we'd fly over and look at the pool. Sick, man. We just came up with the shape. It was kind of like the original Zephyr board, but we just made it a little longer and wider. Then there was, I guess, the Z-Flex board, and then there was the Jay Adams board. Mine was a little bigger. Damn skateboarders. <laughs>